all I'm hearing this bad boy this and bad boy that <laughs> bad boy this and bad boy that shout out to G Depp shout out to G, G Depp bad boy rapper G Depp free bad boy rapper G Depp is now free he just walked out of a New York State prison this morning. God bless G. Depp. G. Depp was signed to P. Diddy. Blueface mother still bumping her jibs. We already know Carlissa ain't gonna never stop talking. God damn. She ain't gonna never stop talking. Papa Blue doing his one-two, spinning a block on her. Mind of his business. Hey, mama. Hey, Brooklyn. What's up? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing this morning? I hope y'all doing great. Bad boy rapper G Depp is free. Bad boy rapper G Depp is free. Shout out to G Depp, man. This man actually walked in the precinct in 2010 and admitted to the police that he unalived somebody 20 years prior before he was signed to P. Diddy and Bad Boys before he was a rapper that blew up and was all over the world Kathy Hochul, New York governor, granted him clemency back in December, and he just was released. I think that's pretty dope. Hey, mama. What's going on, Brooklyn? Hey, Debbie. Sunday was goody. Hey, ladies. Raph was goody. Hey, Tracy. Ally in the building. How are y'all pretty faces doing? G Depp is home. This is wild. Homeland Security got P. Diddy in a headlock and G Depp came home. Oh, God is good, ain't he? God is good, ain't he? God done told Diddy G Depp about to come home, nigga. Your time is up. Ah, damn. <laughs> the good lord said g Depp was a man about it g Depp was a man about it <laughs> that g Depp then had a good conversation with the lord the lord told him to go do the right thing and he done went on downtown and told the white people what he done did 20 goddamn years ago god <laughs> P. Diddy ain't trying to tell nobody nothing, God damn it. God damn. He said he ain't do it. Stevie J said he ain't do it. Stevie J said I knew him for 30 years. I don't know what y'all talking about. God damn. <laughs> What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing this morning? Y'all know I'm up with this cup of coffee acting silly. Y'all already know I ain't got no goddamn sense, ladies. Y'all already know. Hey, Ty oh my God, Tyron Moti, you're the person I just went live for. You made me cry. You made me cry. Because you just, I just know you you feel a real nigga. When you feel a real nigga, you just feel so good. Bad boy rapper G Depp is now home from prison. Shout out to G Depp, man. G Depp just got released from prison. And um, I'm definitely happy for him, man. 
I'm definitely happy for him. This is pretty dope, man. He was granted clemency last year. G. Depp could be granted clemency 13 years after a shocking M1 conviction. This was in December. G. Depp has just found out that he may be going home early more than 13 years after he confessed to a cold case. This was back in December. Hip Hop DX reported on that. And today they are saying that boy was just released from jail. Today they is saying that boy is released from jail. Exclusive ex bad boy rapper G Depp released from prison. That boy is home. That April 4th, that boy is home. Rapper G Depp walked out of prison today after being granted clemency by New York's governor. Read more. Yes, we want to read more. Where's the read more? G Depp is free. The one time hit maker has officially been granted parole after more than a decade in prison, and now he is ready to put a new plane in motion, most definitely. Shout out, oh, he came off from fish scale, okay. Okay. Okay, Depp, you was right here. Okay, you wasn't that far up. He walked out of fish scale correctional facility in upstate New York to be greeted by his close family members. The rapper, a former artist under the now not so influential bad boy label received the sentence for a 1993 shooting that resulted in a death he confessed to the crime in 2010 a move that led to his incarceration in december of 2023 new york governor kathy hoko approved uh clemency acknowledging his efforts toward rehabilitation Good work, G Dap. Good work. Good work. Now we gonna let the white folks deal with some uh Diddy, and hopefully he go work towards some rehabilitation. Uh huh. All them goddamn party parties got him real naughty, naughty. Goddamn it. God damn. Shout out to G Dap. Shout out to G Dap. We've been shouting free D Jeff. Now we hold on. I'm stumbling over my words. I mean I have to like my blunt. We've been shouting free G Dep. Now we can say it backwards. We've been shouting free G Dep. Now we can say it backwards. Cause he's definitely free. This is pretty dope. G Depp was unaware that the victim had succumbed to the injuries when he made his confession, but repeatedly expressed profound remorse for his actions. His sentiment and regret, along with his academic efforts, oh, he was up there doing his one too, <clears throat> played a crucial role in the decision to grant him parole. Despite the gravity of his actions, G. Depp time in prisons has marked by personal growth and academic achievement. During his time in prison, he focused on self-improvement and education, earning an associate's degree in liberal arts. Nice, nice, big Depp, okay, big Depp. He said, I'm gonna do the time, the time will not do me. He said, I am going to do this time. The time will not do me. Nice. The support of G. Depp's release was not limited to the clemency board. The judge and prosecutor involved in his case also advocated for his parole. God damn, G. Depp. Damn this good. Mm-mm-mm. That might be the same goddamn judge that signed that goddamn search warrant for Diddy. 
Ah, uh, that might be that same judge that signed that search warrant for Diddy. Ah, uh, <laughs> Hey, pretty faces, how are y'all doing this morning? How are y'all pretty faces doing this morning? I hope y'all chilling. It's kind of a chilly day here in New York City. Kind of a chilly day. Hey, Shelly. How are you doing, Shelly? Good morning. g Dap is free. Big up to the chat family, right? Shout out to y'all pretty faces in the chat. Shout out to y'all pretty faces in the chat. Definitely smash the like button, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Hey, Robin. Good morning, Miss Lady. Good morning, Miss Lady. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hey, ladies, what's up? Please hit that like button on this live stream. Give this live stream a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you didn't already, please do so. That's good news. I hope he can adjust to being out, right? Because it's hard. Definitely hard, man. Trust me, I know firsthand. I know firsthand. That's right. G Dep is free. G Dep is free. This is pretty dope, man. This is pretty dope. The judge and prosecutor involved in his case also advocated for his parole recognizing his efforts he made toward rehabilitation and acknowledging the transformation he has undergone since his incarceration. Nice, in an interview with All Hip Hop, G Depp reflected on his past actions and the mindset that led him down that path, absolutely. Nice, shout out to G Depp. Yeah, this is pretty dope. What's good, man? Okay. I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. Good morning and, and peace, man. Glad to uh, talk to you. Peace, man. Praise God, man. Yeah, right? Finally, man. Yeah, it's been... Yeah. It's early. It's one of them things, you know, early morning up in, up in the... Uh... This is a prison phone call from g Depp. He's being interviewed by allhiphop.com. This is a prison phone call from g Depp being interviewed from prison. Uh, up in the up in the P now, you know, everybody getting getting themselves together. I'm, I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just got to, right. you know, get my, get my regular yeah. one, two together. But other than that, man, you know, my spirit is all right. I feel, I feel good, man. Right. Good. Now, you, you have... You know, you have this <clears throat> this movement, people, um, you know, trying to get you out early, um, you know, and it's not just regular people. You know, you have the prosecutor and the judge are... Right. Right. Man, Meek Mill judge was trying to give him damn near life in jail for Willie and a dirt bike in New York City. God damn. And here you go. G Depp is doing so well in prison. These white people couldn't deny the fact that they need to let him go. Y'all ain't have to go looking for him. He wasn't running from you. He came to you and said, this is something that I did and I regret it. And I'm working on myself. I'm changing my life. I'm drug free now. I want to turn myself in. I want to pay my debt to society. 
I want my higher power to forgive me for my past actions. And if that means I have to spend years of my life in prison, I'm willing to do that as a man. You can't do nothing but respect that. You can't do nothing but respect that. That's something Diddy Raggedy Ass should have did the moment Cassie walked out that house and the relationship was over. God damn. Our lobbying, you know, to get you at clemency, basically. Yeah, um, how, how you feel about that? Man, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a wonderful feeling, man. It's, it's, more, it's more of a feeling, though. You know, just a bit, you know, kind of, kind of like, you know, it's a, it's affirmation. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. that, you know that that what I, you know, when you give when you give God like the the, the when you leave it up to God. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, 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 and this is just affirmation that you know when when I you know me taking that leap of faith that it was you know it was. It was he, he saw me through, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's a beautiful feeling, man. I can't really describe it, man. It's like wow. And he wasn't even he wasn't even granted clemency yet at the time of this interview. People were still fighting for it, right? People were still vouching for him, writing letters. Yeah. And his spirits was up then. He was he had hope then. Yeah, definitely. Especially with um, right. Huh? With what? Nah, I was just saying, especially with the with the judge and the prosecutor. Good morning, Gigi. You know, like, I would have just got clemency, you know, just on, you know. On, Good morning, on, on, pretty you know, face. Putting application in on my own. You know. Right, it's right. A blessing, but like for them two to, you know. Good morning, mean, princess. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's kind of crazy, right. but it's been a it's been a long time. Like it's been like about twelve years or something. That you, how long yeah. have you been in there? Yeah, yeah. Be, uh, I think the uh, yeah, come this coming December it'll be it'll be twelve years. Twelve years. Wow. He had family support, which is good. I pray he remains safe and can live his life, right, to maybe help others in a situation, right, right, most definitely, most definitely, yeah, that's a great blessing, man, he walked out of there, man, with a sound mind, he ain't go crazy, healthy, Healthy. Now let's hope he stay focused. Let's hope he stay focused and get right. I'm not texting and driving today. Nah, mama, don't do that. Uh-uh. Brooklyn, you better take your mama phone. Take your mama phone now, Brooklyn. <laughs> All together. Yeah, that's... How have you made it day to day? Like, I mean, you first, I mean, yeah, I mean, how that's a long time to me, you know what I mean? Um, how, how have you managed? Well, well, I mean, actually, it's, it's, it's really, it's really like you don't, you don't really think about it. Like, when I first got, you know, locked up, I couldn't really see. You know, ahead. I was like, "Good morning, pretty fast." I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's just like you just gotta live day to day, and that's how I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You just handle. You know, you figure out what are you, what are you trying to do, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And then you just, you just mm. live day to day that way. You know what I mean? Stay. Right. Really, what keeps you going is your faith, and also, you know, speaking to your family. You know what I'm saying? Make Speaking to your family, that's that family support you was just talking about. That's that family support, man. 
when an incarcerated brother or sister got a loved one that's out here in the street, man, that's daggone hitting the pavement for him, kicking down doors for him, pulling up, showing out on them visiting floors, writing letters, you know, that, that gives some brothers and sisters, you know, that added, that added support, you know, because it's real easy to feel alone. It's real easy to feel like you have no one, you know, that's batting for you, that's fighting with you. You know, it could become real lonely in that white man jail cell. God damn. G Dep done made it on, god damn it. God damn. He done walked out of fish skill this morning. I know what that walk is like, man. I know what that walk is like, brother. God bless you. The whole compound still sleep. The correctional officer crack your gate. Tell you to pack it on up. Take it down to the draft room. I know what that last walk is like through the prison compound to the front of the prison. It's quiet. You heard Canadian geese quacking. The air smelt more fresher. You had your net bag over your shoulder in your state greens. I know, my nigga, I know that feeling. You the only one moving. You and maybe one other person that might be released on the same day as you. I know that feeling. Taking off those state green clothes for the last time. Putting on a pair of nice, crispy, fresh Timlins. A crispy, brand new outfit. Your girl done sent you with something. Yeah. Getting in that prison van. Taking that ride through that small upstate community to the Greyhound station. That white officer putting that Greyhound in your ticket and you spinning on them. I know that feeling, my nigga. You know, making out a daily routine, or getting on the phone, or communicating yeah. in some type of way if you have some type of family, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. just staying abreast of, you know, what's going on out there, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. brothers that don't have all of that, a lot of times they just, you know, they just get, you know, they just work on themselves. And that, and that's what brings yeah. the time for every day doing something conducive, productive to whatever. Hey, pretty faces. Office. And before you know it, you turn around, you got years, years that went by, you know what I mean? And right. That's just how I've been, that's just how I've been living, you know? Yeah. It's been universally pretty much regarded by everybody, you know, um, that you seem to be this incredibly good-hearted person, um, you know, largely because of you even confessing to something that you essentially right he confessed to this you know that's that's just how i look at it you know what i mean oh okay. he, yeah he said he used to see you in black Is he, yeah he, i mean like he up and coming he's doing his thing yeah he's up and coming but he's kind of a a, a young og at this point you know he's a a young veteran you could say because he um he he's done a lot of projects but he's not famous yet you know so he runs with fat joe real heavy okay at this right. point yeah yeah Shout to you, Evo, yeah man, man. man g Dep, like i don't know who that is man. g Dep, like man, i don't know who that is why you talking about that man g Dep, like man i'm trying to get up out of here man you talking to me about somebody that's running with fat joe and somebody i don't got nothing to do with all that G. Depp said, man, you got me up here wasting my goddamn time. He said, if you don't, man. <laughs> Shout out to G. Depp, man. 
this right here was pretty dope, man. I was, I woke up to this news. I was really happy for him. I was really happy for him. G. Depp has outlined plans to further his education by pursuing a bachelor's degree in business, showcasing a commitment to his turning his life around in which he did that, right? G. Depp hailed from Harlem, New York and gained national prominence in the late 90s and early 2000s as part of Sean Diddy Combs' Bad Boy Records. God damn! One of G. Depp's most notable tracks was Special Delivery. Right! Released in 2001. The song, along with others like Let's Get It, was a commercial success and received significant airplay. G. Depp debut album, Child of the Ghetto, was released in 2001 and received critically critical acclaim for its raw lyricism and authentic portrayal of street life. Shout out to G. Depp, man. Shout out to G. Depp. This is good, man. I love this, man. This is dope, man. Yeah, this is dope. Just, you know, because, you know, not not you know, not to be funny at that time, you know, it, that bad boy was it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was it was mm -hmm. it was dudes that was that was that was hot, of course, you know what I'm saying? But it was like you know, the monster that we was dealing with was like, you know, just make sure you make hits. Like, that was all we had to do because, you know, we right. knew, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We knew that, you know, we was already, you know, in a good position. God damn, G, that Diddy told you all you had to do was make hits. He had you in that studio writing your heart out, recording your heart out, making them goddamn hits, and that nigga down the hall upstairs hitting on something else. God damn. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah. Funny, you know. <laughs> All we had to do was make hits. <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That's, that's All we that's had dumb. to do was you know make what what hits. It was just like, yo, you know. Here's all the here's here's everything you need <laughs> to do everything yeah. that you need to do, you know what I'm saying? So Right. You know, that was that was really it. You know what I'm saying? We had the production, you know what I'm saying? We had the, the, the facility, you know what I'm saying? So it was like just yeah. go. Whatever whatever you were trained to do, this is this is this is this is when you do it. You know what I'm saying? So Right. You know, that was that was yeah. basically that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just it was just hip hop. Always, it seems like always, you know, it's, it's it's actually the beat of the culture, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it seems like it always gravitates to people that, you know, are, you know, at the pinnacle of, of their lives. So it was like, yeah. this is... You know, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Diddy, I hope you ain't do nothing to g Depp that's making this man feel resentful. He came home. He got New York State politicians on his side. They believing in him. Diddy, I hope G. Depp do not feel like you owe him some money. I hope G. Depp isn't feeling like you left him out the dry when he sat in prison. God damn. Because if that's how he feeling, God damn. It's a great chance them white folks released his ass so he could take the witness stand on your raggedy ass from the goddamn street. God damn. You know, it was You better hope and pray you ain't do none of that freaky diddy. Oh man, G Dap. Diddy better pray and hope you ain't see. He better pray and hope you ain't walk in the room by accident. He better pray and hope you ain't see no daggone pink cocaine. He better pray and hope you ain't see no underage goddamn girls. He better pray and hope he ain't got that goddamn. 
G. Depp said he a changed man. He on the right side of the Lord now. God damn it. God damn. Maybe G. Depp feeling like if I tell what I know, I don't consider it snitching. I'm not in the street no more. I'm a law-abiding citizen. God damn. It was like the, it was like just the 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 the, the, the uh, you know just the right time you know in the right stage for the people to say you know for us to say the right thing you know what I mean rock with a know, passion had, how you doing to pretty fast good morning that you know, was the right time to do it hey cat how are yeah, you doing yeah, that's a fact. um cat okay, in the building hey cat definitely what um what do you think about hip hop now uh, based on what you've heard. I mean, I, I still think I still think hip hop is you know it's still beautiful to me, man. This is what you know what brothers are going through. This is how they feeling. You ain't miss this much, sis. Sound of the music, you know what I'm saying? When I listen, excuse me. When I listen to hip hop now, it's funny because it really to me it's, it just sounds like what hip hop was supposed to become. Right. You know mm. what I mean? Like you know mm. when you used to hear, like when people used to emulate hip hop back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or, mm -hmm. or not emulated, but more so um, kind of just try to, you know, portray what hip hop was. You know, mm -hmm. it, it was like, you know, they couldn't really, you know, figure out how hip hop, you know, like, you know, really came about or how to how to even explain it. So they right. Got it. Once again. Shout out to G-Dep. God bless G-Dep. May he have an easy transition from that white man's jail cell to a productive life. Back in the free cipher. Society. Hopefully he can uh get to a legal stream of stable income and earn a living without taking chances, risking his freedom again. Hopefully, he got friends that's still in the industry that can help him uh, do what he love. That can help him make some money doing what he love. But God damn. Back to the scallywag of the century. God damn. Back to the scallywag of the century. Back to the scallywag of the century. I need to make a song called Scallywag. All for you, Carlissa. God damn. I need to make a song called Scallywag. Dedicated to you. Dedicated to you, Carlissa. That's what we need. I got all the way up until... Him and Jaden got back together and when August, September, or was that October? He pulled Here she go. Just jump on the live. Talking about them damn kids. God damn. Up and, and, and did my show in October. So if he ain't speaking to me, he just stopped not speaking to me again. And that's that don't make me no never mind. If a person came out my ass, they don't make my boat float, okay? They lucky to be on my boat. If you came out my ass, you can't make my day, all right? We ain't on the same level. We ain't going to never be on the same level. But I can see how that would make y'all. Of course you ain't going to never be on the same level. You acting like you beneath your children. You running around chasing they clout. You running around chasing they fan base. You got your children and they baby mama names in your mouth every day. They running from you. They try their best to avoid bringing you up. They hate when people in they comments mentioning you, they dislike you with a passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can play this reverse psychology mind game. Nah, mind fuck that simp ass husband of yours. You can't double talk me, you heard? I know you're full of shit. You look like it, you smell like it, God damn it. God damn. I feel some type of way. If you had a rich family member and they ain't talk to you, it ain't going to never make me no never mind. Jonathan ain't never paid my bills. Not never in life. I ain't that kind of mama. I've always had a, my husband been here since 
Jonathan came to our wedding. She ain't that kind of mama. Do you hear this? She ain't that kind of mama. Yo, call this and you be bugging out. That's all you care about is damn money. That's all you care about is money. Crazy. That's all you care about. That's all you care about. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. So all you care about, Carlissa, you don't care about nothing else. You don't care about nothing else. Money, 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 money. That's it. That's it. It's all you care about. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Oh, money. <laughs> money. How much you got? I don't know. Money. That's a whole lot. <laughs> That's 10 bands right there. It's all you care about. It's all you care about. You had an attitude just for that nigga pulled out that money. It's all you care about. Blue face whole career. This is all you cared about. A simple Google search. A simple Google search. I just proved that statement wrong. This is all you ever cared about. A simple Google search, Carlos. It's 10 something. 10,000. Uh, all blue faces. Take me to the airport. I'm going to the Bahamas. 10 piece, no biscuit. I'm calling Johnny's. <laughs> Nasty work. Lies, 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 girl. Lies. It's all you do. That's why I be tearing your scallywag ass up. Now let's go with your raggedy ass mouth. Ten years ago, my husband don't let Jonathan pay nothing for me. Okay, he can't pay for my food. He can't pay. He, I, he, he got me some jewelry when I was in the restaurant. And a couple of wigs, honey. <laughs> but Mr. Stafford ain't never had less than $100,000 in his bank account. Am I lying, babe? Since I met my husband, he ain't never had less. If it get to 99.9, .9, I got to make sure. Oh, oh, I guess that's why you still with his ass then, huh? Might be the only reason why you with his ass, goddammit. We still trying to figure out why he with you. God damn. Sure, I put it back, okay? <laughs> and they never, ever, ever. Now, when I met him, he had half a million dollars in there. I keep it a little low. I do. I ain't gonna lie. I do a couple things here and there to try to make some, make some shit shape up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I be investing over here and invest. You sound like the deadbeat baby daddy, trying to convince Mr. Sappho you gonna flip his taxes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be keeping it low. I'll be doing the little things, trying to make a little something shake. You sound just like a sorry ass nigga. Yeah, huh? that's what you sound like. Hey, yo, baby, let me hold something, babe. Hey, yo, my man, you know, my man just read up on some fire. And I know, and I know if I go and get, and I know if I go get a pound from him, I know I can flip it and I can make your tax money double. All I need is like two, maybe three and a half weeks. And then, and then, and then, you know, we could take a trip. And then, God damn, that's what you said. Shut up. Get off your funky ass and go hit a white man time clock or something, goddammit. God damn. Investing over there. But it's coming back. It come back a little smaller sometimes. But, you know, when you make investments, that's what they do. They lifetime investments. <laughs> Not the party city, wig. Not the party city, wig. God damn. She done got the wig from the Halloween costume. God damn. Nasty work. Nasty work. I think, I think Mrs. Sappho loaned Jonathan some money one time. So, yes, honey, I am trying. If Mr. Sappho had to lend Jonathan some money, that mean whack managing a, a, a position he got, he ain't fulfilling his duties. If your son's so broke, 
He got to go to your husband to borrow money. That means Wack ain't doing his job. So why are you virtually, verbally sucking Wack dick every time you mention that nigga name? He's like a father to my son. He love blue. He want blue best. Shut up. God damn. Don't make sense. Y'all go, I'ma tell, I can't tell y'all yet. Bree said don't say nothing yet. Shit about the podcast. I can't tell y'all yet. Bree said don't say nothing yet. We gotta make sure we get their flights right. But I'm about to be interviewing some people that's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, baby girl. Pretty face, you know this scallywag is a compulsive liar. She got a half a mil in the bank and they renting. God damn. They got a half a mil in the bank and own multiple properties across multiple states, but they renting. She said they own multiple rental properties. They rent out, every, but they renting. You got multiple properties you own and you rent them all out and you rent. God damn. Lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. You have been lying your whole life. Mr. Sappho, when this lying ass scallywag said I do, she was lying. God damn. I ain't say nothing, Bree. I see you pop up when, I, <laughs> when it's time for me to hold water. See, I held that water, girl. Now, don't say I can't hold water next time. I held that water. I held that water. Link is in my bio. I held the water, y'all. I know, I'm so excited to Right, he I, ain't I, no I, better, I Natasha. Talk shit all day. I want to run around Beverly Hills and... He ain't no better, Natasha. Temecula wineries. I want to run around with my kids having lunch and dinner just talking shit about our life. That was so much more the plan, and it was so much more interesting. Right, guys? Oh, that was so much more fun. But that we're going to see what Callie coming back talking about. What she want to do with Six Out when she get back here. <laughs> what she want to do is what she want to do is six side. Oh, blue face in jail. Callie run around with Zeus. All you had was your son Dre to help you keep those six side episodes going. Now you ain't even got him. God damn. Now is we gonna see what Callie want to do with six side. Now is what Callie want to do. God damn. This is all she do. Leech off her children. Callie ain't even got her toes wet. In the uh uh I guess the uh the the the, the daggone clout, the fame, the stardom, the spotlight. She ain't even been on the big stage uh long enough for you to be talking about God damn. Carlissa, please get a job. Carlissa, please, Carlissa. Please, Carlissa, you're going to burn your goddamn kids out. You're going to drive them crazy, goddammit. Go get a job, goddammit. Just go work somewhere. Go. Go start you a business and just go work some goddamn way. God damn. It ain't got to be nobody else, time clock. Go get some business of your own and just go to work some goddamn way. God damn. To make some investments. We don't we don't get our money and go buy no chains. We make we we try to invest every dollar into something. You just said you met this man. He kept a half a mil in the bank at all times, but your ass keep it around a hundred thousand. That's not a goddamn investment. That's not a goddamn investment. And you know how it got down to 100000 Because you kept penny pinching, putting little out there, little out there, promising him you going to put it back and never go back, but you pulling out more, making more broken promises, lying, sneaking money out, putting it over here, spending it on that. That's how that money got from a half a mil to 100000 Now he's struggling to keep a few hundred thousand in the bank. Because of your worthless spending ass. 
There's no way in hell you making a profit off of Patreon. I bet you that was his money too. You pay for a whole camera crew, every episode, a whole security team, every episode. You written cars, you need drivers, you buying tickets. Anytime your children appear, you gotta pay them. One of your friends appear in the show, y'all go get y'all, you gotta pay them. Wasn't nobody willing to work on Six Out with you for free. And I'm not even talking about strangers, your own children, the people around you. Nobody was willing to continue that every week without being compensated properly. Dre got tired of that shit. You ain't gonna be slaving me on my phone all goddamn day, every day, talking about a goddamn Patreon. And you penny pinching me, giving me a couple dollars here and there. I ain't got time for that. You ain't making no real money off that damn Patreon. That's why that nigga bank account went from a half a mil to a hundred thousand. That goddamn Patreon. And make something out of nothing. <sighs> yes, honey, they want me talking to everybody, honey. That's a secret, I'm gonna tell y'all. But make sure y'all go subscribe to my network first. That's gonna drive my rate up. Can I say that, Bree? Right. Right. I have made some magnificent numbers, thanks. To Right, but then she bash him like she did him a favor. I put you in an apartment. I bought you a hoopty. But that was with the money you owed him from the damn Patreon episodes he was crying about. You keep calling me every week about this Patreon and you're not giving me the money you owe me already. So he break up with his wife and you buy him a car and put him in an apartment and you throw it back in his face like it's a damn favor, like the nigga wasn't crying about the money you owed him. Crazy. To y'all, just 300 million that's on here. I have maintained some magnificent, magnificent, how you say it? Subscribers. Oh, Callie getting beat up on Zeus? I did not see no footage. Please DM me any clips. If y'all see Callie fighting, please send me the clips. Please DM me the clips of Callie fighting if you see any. I haven't seen none. She ain't got no money to put it back. That's right, mama. She ain't got no damn money to put it back. She ain't got no damn money. She ain't gonna do nothing but tell that nigga another bald faced lie about why she can't put it back and put that nigga on her goddamn mouth and Mr. Sappho gonna roll over and take his ass to sleep and forget about it until the next time she take more money out the goddamn bank. She been running laps around that simp ass nigga. God damn. She been running laps around that simp ass nigga. Yes, she have. Carlissa gonna mess around and give away information on Kylie and what she's doing with Zeus. She's gonna, uh, oh, Zeus is gonna fire Kylie cause her mama, right, can't keep her mouth shut, right. Oh yeah, I think that'd be the straw that uh, would break the camel back between mommy and daughter. I, th I think that little mommy daughter bond, we see Carlissa faking. I, I think all of that will stop if that happens. I think all of that will stop. I think Kalia stopped being nice when Carlissa put the camera in her face. Because every time Carlissa do, Callie smiles and laughs be seeming forced. 
Like, bitch, you know I'm only here to drop my son off so I could go on about my business. Don't put me all on your Instagram live like I've been here all day up under your ass. No, I'm dropping this badass boy off so I could go and do what the fuck I got to do. <laughs> what? Yeah. Big Mama Green, morning. We goody, we goody. God damn. This is my second time here. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Miss Lady. I greatly appreciate you. Wada in the building. How are you doing, pretty face? Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, cat. If she was, she wouldn't always be on here. Right, right. She wouldn't always be on here. If she had it together, she would not be on here. That's a whole fact. That is a whole fact. Did y'all peep her nasty ass outfit she had on when she called herself running? I was glad Jay and paid her zero mind. Nah, I ain't see that one. Yeah, send that to my uh, DM, please. Yeah, DM me anything you talking about, Eli. Yeah, I gotta check those out. On my little network by myself, y'all. On my little network. So, we doing this, y'all. Who denies their own mother from visiting them in jail? Yeah, mama. That old hoopty, she bought that nigga. I think it was a Toyota uh, Corolla not, or something. I have a not Toyota Camry or something. I've been denied from jail. I tried to get in and I tried to get a several visits, but the all of these people got the visits locked up every week, but it doesn't bing back that right. you've been denied or you can't visit. No, ma'am. But I make sure I write. So make sure you write. I hope she had a diaper on. <laughs> That's between Jonathan and Jonathan's Lord. I'll let you know what I, I'll let you know what he say when I talk to him. I'll <laughs> let you know. I know how this prophecy works out. I know everything before it happened. Ja who? What Ja? Is you talking about Ja Ru or you talking about God? Is you talking about Ja Ru or Jehovah? Like who? <laughs> if Carlissa was really in the room of any of these, was really in the same room of any of these celebrities she talk about, she would be posting those photos every goddamn year at least as a goddamn Facebook memory. We don't see nothing. If she was around all of these celebrities she brag about, talking about she turned down, if she was around any of these celebrities ever, just once, for a few seconds, her clout chasing ass would have at least a photo, a Facebook memory to share at least once every 12 months. I haven't seen not one photo. Not one. Not one. I haven't seen not one. That's a whole fact. Call this to be bugging. God damn. Black definitely said Blue don't mess with you. He don't mess with him either. <laughs> you ain't heard him play no videotape talking to my son either. <laughs> Y'all better stop listening to Whack. <laughs> Twitter is boring without Blue. Y'all know who y'all can ask if my son mess with me? Ask Jaden Mama. 
That's who you ask. Nigga, Jade Mama don't mess with you. Jade Mama just told you two weeks ago. You ain't seeing these goddamn kids. God damn. Jade Mama ain't messing with you. Jade Mama know how to stay offline and live her life. Jay and Mama know how to be a grandmama. Jay and Mama know how to stay out of her daughter business publicly. Jay and Mama not chasing no clout. Ain't chasing no fan base she think Jay and got. God damn. That's the difference between Blue Face Mama and Jay and Mama. Ask Jay and Mama. Hint, hint. Ask Jay and Mama. <laughs> Ask God Jay bless and him, Mama. Honey. God bless him. Everybody want my son to be their son, child. I don't know what is so. I don't know what y'all. They be acting like Jonathan the God or something, don't they? <laughs> he the baby. Nah, she ain't brush her teeth yet. She's going to tax her daughter, right? You know she is. I don't is. know who the police or the undercover people is. I don't you know, know she is. That. I don't say nothing about stuff like that unless I'm sure. You know that with her stay ass. <laughs> right. She was denied because he didn't want her there. Johnny Absolutely. Was mad at me before he went to jail because, but remember I was at his house the week before he went to jail, me and his dad. Then his dad switched up on me, which is weird. So be careful, Krishan, because if this motherfucker can switch up on Carlissa is spelling the empty nest she you. will be exposing weird. the babies that live up, with her next. So that we could check on John, go to court, make yep. sure everything was straight as parents. Thank you, mama. Thank you, Brooklyn. All of a sudden, he switched up. So I, I, I greatly I appreciate y'all. Make, never make me no never mind, because like I said, my child came out my ass, okay? <laughs> It ain't gonna never make me no never mind. Whatever he choose to do, come or go, long as you okay. So what? That but nigga ain't thinking about you. Say what you wanna say. So Just what? He came out of there. And and whatever, long as you okay. <coughs> God damn it. God is working that out however it's supposed to be. When God let John out, if he, however God decide. That's what it's going to be, because that's what I'm praying for. Your will, not mine, and not his, and not theirs. Whatever the will for God's life, for John's life, that's what Oh, I'm it was on the about. circus press box. All right. And y'all have to accept that. Shout out to Henny. Shout out to Henny. I ain't going to no hot football game. No, ma'am. What else? Cool. Wack already he said he doesn't him. call Carlissa. She needs to stop. I mean, he tr he, you got to understand, people with PTSD, and my husband been trying to teach me how this works. Because my husband be flipping out sometimes, like, shut the fuck up, I don't want to hear nothing. Boy, you know you chasing clout when Wack say you chasing clout. That nigga is the king clout chaser. That's all that nigga do. That nigga stay in some drama. It's all about the algorithm for that nigga. He don't care what's going on as long as niggas is talking. God damn. If Wack calling her goddamn liar, God damn. But when you, when people get triggered, like they just kind yes, of. Yes, she do, like, Ryder. That's all she do, Ryder, is use them like, damn kids. You got PTSD. You would think I would have it. Oh, you got it. We know you got it. But I don't think I have it as much as they got it. I don't think I got it. But people that been had to, like, fight for their life or their booty hole, you know. Whoa, 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 do, whoa, whoa. We ain't need that. We ain't need that. They different type of traumas because they done been to the end of the world and back. We ain't, some of us ain't been to the end of the world and back. We just talk a little shit. But, you know, my husband had to make it back from Saudi Arabia out of a dirt hole in hand-to-hand combat and some serious type shit, you know, that give you nightmares at night, you know? We haven't had to live like that, and y'all should be grateful that y'all haven't, but people who have slept with one eye open for the whole night, them people ain't all together. Now, they can carry themselves, some of them, until something happened. With one eye I'm open. I'm going to speak to a lady about this. Um, her, her daughter on here, um, a rich kid, too. I'm going to speak to, and she's heavily into this mental health. I'm going to speak to this on my next episode when she get back this week. 
so y'all can learn more about this because you don't know what your kids gonna go through some people could go spend a week in juvenile hall and be traumatized you know what i'm saying so and you can't think oh my mama was on drugs that's trauma yes it causes some type of trauma but it didn't make you like have to Oh, she was like at Jay in performance. It. Got it. For some people, it did make them feel like that. Thank you, Gigi. Like, Shit, my mama busy. I get to go out and kick it. Gigi, I greatly appreciate you, pretty face. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ty, keep the comedy coming. Yes. Ladies, I greatly appreciate when y'all show me live and send super chats. It uh, definitely don't go without notice. And y'all are definitely appreciated. Thank you, Gigi. So it's just different people been through different types of trauma. And this is something y'all gonna wanna learn about because I had no clue. I had no clue of this. I've never ran into- Well, what about the trauma you caused? What about the trauma you have been inflicting on others? Like your own goddamn children. Dre said you been abandoned them niggas. That's why Blueface don't deal with you. He said Blueface wasn't dealing with you for a few years. Soon as he signed that damn record goddamn contract and Tatiana blew up and he all over the goddamn country, here come his scallywag ass goddamn mama. God damn, here come his scallywag goddamn mama. Looking like Wesley Snipes in a dress in Wu Tang Fu. God damn. Embarrassing that goddamn boy. You am pulling up the goddamn sets of music videos. He trying to record a goddamn reality TV show. All these beautiful women in the goddamn house. Here come goddamn Carlissa. Hopping out the goddamn car, looking like Wesley Snipes and Wu Tang Fu. God damn. With her goddamn hand out. All you cared about was some goddamn money. It's all you ever goddamn cared about. How much you got? I don't know. It's a whole lot. It's all you ever cared about. It's 10 something. 10,000. All blue faces. Take me to the airport. I'm going to the Bahamas. 10 piece, no biscuit. I'm calling Johnny's. It's all you ever cared about. You ain't care about nothing else. You never cared about nothing else. You raggedy scallywag. God damn. To anybody with PTSD, at least I didn't know it. I'm gonna start cooking again tomorrow. Now the company gone, babe. I'm just so tired. I gotta read. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know she ain't just say I'm gonna start cooking again. Ain't no way in hell your raggedy, scallywag, ghetto, loud-ass goddamn mouth is getting on a nigga nerve all goddamn day and you ain't goddamn cooking around this motherfucker? Goddamn! You must be sucking dick in overdrive, goddammit! Goddamn! Got to be more careful, Mr. Sappho. Bitch mouth never goddamn stop moving and the bitch ain't cooking! Goddamn! It'll be a cold goddamn, a cold goddamn night on the motherfucking sidewalk right next to the goddamn trash cans. You and all your shit. Fuck out of here. One day. How are people on here just bashing for Sean Right? Why are they even talking about her on this live? We, we came over here to talk about Six Side. You ain't come over here talking about no damn Six Side. No, you didn't. I don't even tell Mr. Sappho nothing whack say because whack will say something on the internet and then, you know, be a whole nother concerned type uncle on the phone about John. So Never seen that much whack money and it ruined her. Right. Face value. I just don't. Right. Because they be sw switching up so quick that I don't know. You know, Mr. Sappho is not. A, yeah, like, looking like Wesley person. Snipes and Wu Tang Fu. You know yeah. He ain't gonna understand. Uh -huh. Talking to these weirdos after they said all this, and now be like, they don't. He don't know the difference with this Hollywood shit. You know, he from Ohio. Looking like so Wesley. It's up or it's not. So I don't tell Mr. Sappho everything that I don't think he needs to know because then he, then when you talking to people again, he don't fuck with them no more. Still.
looking like Wesley Snipes from Wu Chang Fu. God damn. I love you too, Shauna Scott, baby. I ain't lying. Looking like Wesley Snipes. God damn. Looking like Wesley Snipes and Wu Tong Fu. God damn. Look at Carl. Listen. Look at Carl. Listen, God damn it. Look at Carl. Listen. Here she go. God damn it. Here she go. Look at Carl. Listen. Carl, look at her. Uh huh. Carl, listen. Wu Tong Fu. God damn it. God damn. Here she go. This is Carlissa. Look. 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 Look just like her. God damn. Carlissa. God damn. Carlissa. Look at Carlissa with her homegirls. Look, that's Carlissa back in the days. Look at Carlissa. This is her Ohio days right here. This is Carlissa back in the day. God damn, Carl, listen. Yeah, that's Carl, listen, back in the day. Looking like Wesley Snipes and Wu Chong Fu. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah. God damn, Carl, listen. God damn. Look at Carl, listen. Now, she told us she was in Friday. She ain't telling us she was in Wu Chong Fu. Car Carlissa, you ain't tell us you was doing it like this, Carlissa. Girl, you so wrong. Why you ain't tell us you was doing it like this, girl? Look at Carlissa. God damn. Carlissa and Wu Tang Fu. Look at Carlissa. Got to be more careful. Mr. Sappho, you ain't even know. Mr. Sappho, you ain't even know. Uh huh. And you wonder why she want the lights out every time she give you some. Uh huh. God damn it. Uh huh. She done went and rearranged the furniture down there and shit. God damn, Mr. Sappho. God damn. Look at Carlissa. Don't make no goddamn sense. Looking like Wesley Snipes in a goddamn dress. Leave them goddamn kids alone. God damn it. Leave them goddamn kids alone. Let them goddamn kids live their goddamn life. You play too goddamn much. You out here trolling. You goddamn capping. Now you acting like you mad because your chat mentioning Krishan Rock. What you expect them to do? All you do is mention a Krishan Rock. Goddamn, Carl, listen. I get tired of coming online every day, tearing your scallywag ass up like this. This shit easy, goddammit. Goddamn. Looking like goddammit Wesley Snipes. I'm tired of your goddamn mouth. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, goddammit. But we gonna get back to it. <laughs> Hit the like button, pretty faces. <laughs> So he didn't let the goddamn water out the out the uh, hot tub. Come on, he cleaning it, girl. Come on, I was pissing in there or something. I was not. <laughs> he cleaning it out, girl. It ain't got no water in it. You know, I woke up mad as hell. Yeah, people from Ohio don't really do the Hollywood stuff. They don't let you call them dumb bitches one day and then be cool the next. Like, it's a little different when you from the hood. The real hood, not the Hollywood. Not the Hollywood. These niggas is Hollywood. They talking shit one day, then they on the same team the next day. Like, he don't understand stuff like that. So I just try not to tell him. He ain't on the internet. He don't get on Instagram. He don't get on Facebook. He talked to his colleagues, he talked to the kids, he talked to me, that's about it. Carl, listen, look like said, Michael say, Clark said, Duncan. Too big to be pissing in this little tub of water. Okay, maybe that one time I couldn't make it and it was cold outside, but other than that. Columbus, Ohio in here, Anna Leo. No, he a tourist girl. So he ramming shit nonstop. He ain't about to be your friend tomorrow. He barely want to make up with me. He literally barely want to make up with me. 
<laughs> and if it wasn't for Jesus, he probably wouldn't do that sometime. I have to be getting on his nerves. You remind me of my mom. Yeah, she from Ohio. She don't know no Girl, goddamn hug. <laughs> right. What in the fuck is you talking about? Right. She don't know no damn hug. The Lord's her mind. Max said he gonna let Blue figure out that out when he gets out because he warned him. He did. I mean, I will say that. He did warn him that, you know, some stuff that, you know, but when you, when you young. God damn, here you go vouching for whack. This nigga is a compulsive liar just like you. Somebody said, Wax said, he gonna let Blue hand why, why you co-signing something Wax said. All that nigga do is goddamn lie. Every day I'm starting to believe more and more of the things your son Dre done said about your scallywag ass. God damn. Dre said, God damn it, you in bed with Wax trying to line Blue face up. Y'all wanted him to sign over his rights to Blue Girls Club. That's why Blueface probably got his ass whooped in jail. Whack 100 probably sick some niggas on him and forced him to sign them goddamn contracts. Blueface probably ain't want to license out a uh, uh, Blue Girls Club to Ray J for Tronics Network. How we know Whack ain't forced him to sign that? How we know that? Yeah. I believe you, Drake. And you dumb, you, you full of cum, you gonna try it your way. We all did it. Dumb and full of cum. Oh, like you? Oh, like you? Oh, like you? So, like I told him, he don't understand what y'all going through because, you know. From the window to the wall. When the sweat drip from my balls. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Like you? I think men that been to jail, they don't really learn. They don't really want to love as hard as regular people because they see things that's here today, gone tomorrow. So Dre and Wack, and they both Aries. I don't think they really love people the way they would really want to because of their right. PTSD, if that makes sense. So I don't think they. Um, I don't think he. They even understand. That's right. All he do is lie. You know. John's trying to figure out like where that's that age where you almost 30 Cali too. Like, I don't know what, I don't, I really don't know what that is. She vouched for whack today and cuts him out tomorrow. <laughs> what I missed, right. I, see, <laughs> I did see the little card that John's dad posted. Um, for the baby that was a nice um gesture however i don't think rock posts shit that john's daddy won't hurt a post or congratulate him on shit because right you know he fake she know one week he was there with me talking to his son then the next week people know like we know when you switch up just like my friend did with her she rock not done he said it do look like a <laughs> and she see if you just trying to use her <laughs> Did she go? Did she go? Did she go? Those of y'all that been here in the circus since the beginning knows that I was the shade room plug and I was getting her on the shade room like every week when I met her. Right. So. Right, Natasha. Knows I never ever tried to use her for clout. I was helping her with clout to begin with. Dre wasn't and lying. I her with the whole back and forth cloud all the way through, even when I should have been done. But that's neither here nor there either. Her very first interview on the shade room, her first big interview, besides my interview, because she interviewed with me first. Good morning, Slim. Her first big interview on the shade room was talking about me, Jaden, Callie, Blue, and all of that. So we would, we never was trying to take no clout from her. We was trying to give her clout. You ain't had no clout to give her. Yo, I swear she talking like, yo, this got to stop. Like the delusions, Carlissa. You're stinking thinking. It's all wrong. 
It's all wrong. You're nothing compared to a Sean Rock. Nothing. Nothing. You ain't worthy of cleaning the bottom of her sneakers. Nothing. Nothing. You can't hold the match to her. Not a candle, not a lighter, not a blowtorch, or nothing. Talk about we was giving her clout. We. Nothing. Nothing. Your son was on a decline. He wasn't making no money in no goddamn music. That's why Wack had him focus on these goddamn young girls and exploiting them. That's why. Because his clout was on a decline. That's how the circus came about. What you think if that nigga was selling millions of records and traveling the fucking world as a successful rapper, the circus would exist? No, it would not. So what clout was you giving her? You know what I'm saying? So those of y'all that been here know how this really went down from the beginning. Right. But I ain't gonna talk too much because I wasn't supposed to say too right. much, but... She said, but I ain't going to talk too okay, much. I'm, Bitch, you've been talking too much. People that have been here since the beginning. Because I recognize it. She said, but I ain't going to talk too much. What, what are you, 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 you've been talking too much. You've been talking too much. That's like a scallywag ass bitch giving her man an ultimatum because she ain't happy in a relationship. I don't feel like, I don't feel like you ain't doing what you used to do. Like, you better get it together and love me. Like, like, or I'm going to have to, or like, we going to have to go our separate ways. The relationship over. Bitch, the reason he stopped is because he know you already sucking dick. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Scallywag ass. You a looking nigga dead in the eyes, shedding tears, crying, talking about how you unhappy in a relationship, but you already somewhere sucking another dick. Get the fuck out of here. That's a car lisa. Everybody in these fucking comments. Some of y'all, I know y'all by name. Y'all know how mamas be. We might forget the name, but we don't never forget that face. And some of y'all been rocking since the beginning, telling me stuff, giving me stuff, giving me ammunition over here. Y'all be knowing some shit too. That's why I fuck with y'all, cause y'all be it's some either some Leos out here or something, cause they be like hit her with this, mama. I be like, well, goddamn, where you get that piece from? Shit, it's some people in here that know some shit. Girl. You want to know something? You log right on here, honey. It's going to be 300 million people with some shit. My notifications, I got so many snitches in my notification. You would have thought it was cheese on this goddamn internet. I'm telling you, I got some people. That right, it's me too all late. The shit and come with the it's receipt. too late. You already ran your mouth. If you don't stop doing better, I'm going to leave you. Let me leave you. Bitch, the relationship over already. Fuck out of here. That nigga know that. <laughs> it don't cost him nothing extra per month to ignore your ass in his house until you feel like packing your shit and moving on. It don't cost him nothing per month to, to ignore you and give you no dick until you feel like getting the fuck out of here. It's already too late. He already know you got another dick in your mouth somewhere. Talk about, I don't want to talk too much. You're, you're already doing it. I think the next door neighbor on this motherfucker, because I'm like, how you know that? <laughs> you 
got to live right next door. And you know I was cool with my son's neighbors. Because I know how to I right. fuck with white people. White people fuck with me. I don't do the ghetto shit unless it's time to do the ghetto shit. You know what I'm saying? You Old people know how to finesse the neighbors. Because, you know, they can be complaining sometimes. So I, when I'm over there, I'm trying to bring down the wall. You know what I'm saying? And bridge the gap with his neighbors. Because the last thing you ever want is your neighbors to be... You know what I'm saying? Feeling some type of way. Your neighbor's supposed to be happy about you being there. You supposed to, you know, take a bottle. I don't think your neighbors would ever be happy about you being next door. I don't think they will ever be happy. They probably feel constipated. Every time they see your fucking face, they stomach just start hurting. You probably disgust them every time they see you coming or going. Either or or whine over apologize if you was loud you know what i'm saying if you had loud sex or you and your husband was fussing you supposed to get up and ad apologize to your adversaries quickly okay if you had a rough night you supposed to get up and tell your neighbors my bad i ain't gonna tell you all my business but you know what i'm saying my husband went to pound town last night and i just was acting a fool in there and i'm so sorry can I get y'all a bottle of wine and some crackers today? God damn. You have to have white people etiquette up over there. And they ain't got no etiquette over there, okay? They ain't yeah, they know that. They the shit up on time. White people can smell shit from across the street. They don't play that leaving a dog shit on the grass for two days. I get it when I get it. No, when the dog take a shit, you go out there with your put tissue paper. They got the shit in their backyard that they have at the park. You supposed to go scoop that shit up immediately when you see that motherfucking dog bend over and take that hunch. You got about five minutes. Them neighbors gonna smell that shit. <laughs> okay, and that's when them. Carla says an ass Yo, those last two minutes was funny. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Like, that was a whole comedy sketch. Like, you could have said that on somebody's stage and got some money, Carla. So, you could have told that dog shitting on your white neighbor lawn joke doing a Netflix special. You could have made a couple dollars telling that goddamn joke. But you too busy on Instagram sucking your son dick. That's the whole goddamn problem, Carla, sir. That's your whole goddamn problem. You could have been somewhere in a venue sold out with a bunch of beautiful middle-aged black women around your goddamn age with some goddamn drinks. They all dressed up looking pretty and they got them heels and they just as ghetto as your raggedy ass. You could be touring the country doing stand-up comedy making some real goddamn money with your demographic. But you choose not to. You choose not to. You choose not to. God damn. You waiting for your little incarcerated dick to come home. God damn. Neighbors won't fuck with you because they don't care that it smell like shit, but they don't want them dogs walking and shit, okay? White people love them dogs like they humans. You leave that shit out there too long, that means... You don't love your dog to them. You got to Look, you hear this? This is a nice comedy skit. And you just freestyled this. That was a nice bit right there. You ain't even finished the bit. That's a nice bit. But you talk about you an entrepreneur. But you talk about you investing your husband money, but you blowing it. It costs nothing to tell a joke. That shit free. You don't need to invest in a joke. That shit is free. It's free. It costs you nothing to make another person laugh and smile and feel good. It's free. It don't take no investment to do that. To have etiquette for white neighbors, okay? You can't just have any kind of neighbors and think, oh, they don't fuck with me. No, you got to fix that. You want me to go out here and get this dog shit up real quick? I'm going to get it up faster next time because I know you don't want Batman running through this dog shit and getting his nice little pearly paws all do. Oh, so you admitting the fact that your black 
raggedy ass a jump goddamn it when the goddamn neighbors say jump goddamn it you asking how goddamn high goddamn it you sound like you kissing the goddamn white neighbor ass goddamn it but i bet you if you had some black neighbors your funky ass would be online every day talking shit about them about how they ain't no motherfucking good about how they nosy all in your business about how you don't like them don't talk to them you don't even look they way when the husband water in the ground Ass. You can't stand a wife. You think the wife trying to give Mr. Sappho some pussy. If you had black neighbors, Carlissa, you would be on here starting shit with them every goddamn day. But you got white neighbors. You on here sucking a dick. You on here sucking a soul out that white pussy. God damn. Y'all over them, okay? Y'all over them. See, that's how I was when I was over there, and they loved me. They come outside, hey, Mama Blueface, we're so happy that you're here. I know you are, baby. I know you don't want this dog walking in this dog shit in this backyard looking like this the goddamn <coughs> junkyard. Girl, that, they ain't got no neighbor etiquette up over there. That's why them neighbors mad as hell I'm gone. You know, they and they, they be a little scared. And so if you get loud over there, them neighbors, when you get loud, they don't know if you taking one up the butt, one down low, one up high. You got to let them know. Did you bust a hemorrhoid last night? What happened over there? Why was you screaming? God damn, Carl. Listen. God damn. Like that. You know, you ain't got to tell them your business, but if you were screaming, they know them different screams. Y'all know them different screams. You know if you scream too high, he in that hole in that butt. You know what I'm talking about. God damn, Mr. Sappho. Your nasty ass wife putting all your goddamn bedroom business online. Your nasty ass wife ain't into you. God damn it. You bouncing up and down on Carlos the raggedy ass. And she thinking about the goddamn white neighbor. She want the white neighbor to hear her moaning. She want the white neighbor to hear you knocking the bottom out that goddamn thing. She ain't into you. She trying to impress the white neighbor. God damn, Mr. Sappho. Not only is she blowing your goddamn money. Laying beside your simp ass in your bed. Running her raggedy ass mouth but she fantasizing about the white goddamn neighbor while you blowing her goddamn back out god damn it mr sappho you better grab your nuts poke your goddamn chest out put some bass in your goddamn voice and tell the bitch to get the fuck out god damn Ladies, please remember this is a comedy club. Each live stream is a stand-up comedy special. I want to laugh with you. I want to cry with you. I want to face fight. I want to smile with you. Peace. Hey, Ty oh my God, Tyron Moti, you're the person I just went live for. You made me cry. You made me cry. Because you just, I just know you You feel a real nigga. When you feel a real nigga, you just feel so lit. Tyrone, 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 Tyr